In 2018, we left all we had ever known behind in Florida to make our way to Alaska in an attempt to drive our truck camper from Alaska to Argentina. We made it to the top of the world and turned south only to confront one challenge after another. But along the way, we fell in love with the road and realized that our call to wander would need an RV with a little more space. So we sold our truck camper and purchased a 22-year-old Class C motorhome that needed just a little bit of TLC. This is the story of how we spent six months remodeling our new home on the road. Today is day two and it is not demo day. It is just a little carryover maybe because today's project for me is ripping up the carpet and Lindsay's gonna be getting into prepping for paint. Lindsay's out getting some putty for the walls. We found that we had no fewer than 500,000 screws between everything that was hinged on a door, on a wall, anywhere around the camper. So we got a lot of holes that we're gonna fill in on the walls. We're gonna sand them down, sand the holes down, fill them in with putty, and then Lindsay will be able to prime over them. You won't even know that there were holes there. I'm gonna be getting started in the bedroom with the carpet. It's not a lot, but it's in kind of some weird places. So we'll see how it works. So in the bedroom along the walls, there were these uh, little carpet, uh, like diagonal things. It took up space, it was awkward, you couldn't set anything on it, and it made it narrow. Um, and it turns out there's wires behind there, which that isn't a huge deal, um, but I am going to need to build something around there. I'm not going to put it back the way that it was, because that just took up way too much space. So I may build a little box with, uh, with two 2x4s two and just cover it up over there. Um, we'll figure that out when we get to that. But for now, I gotta move that so I can get all the rest of this carpet out. And now I think I'm ready to just really start tugging on it. Got this started. So now it just comes on down. Gotta be careful around the wires and the water. Gotta have to do something about that. Success so far. It's a mess. But the carpet is up. This little strip is going to stay. I'm going to build a little box to come up and over, but it's going to be square so I can lay things on it or use it in some way. I don't like the diagonal that was there. I do not have an idea what this is for, some kind of a screen. So we wanted to turn this into a dirty clothes hamper where we'd have a little lid and toss our clothes in there. So we're still gonna check it out. I gotta see what's underneath there. I thought it was just straight down into storage, but I could be wrong. So we just made a cool little discovery. Uh, Chris was pulling up the carpet in the bedroom and revealed some wires. I don't know what else, it's just wires, right? It's not like plumbing. I don't know. Plumbing. It's plumbing too, I think. And. Uh, not sure what we're gonna do with that yet. And then we also discovered a speaker. How random is that? That's a speaker. It was under carpet. And this little box here that if we remove some insulation out there and it opens up to a big storage box, we have it. Ha! Yay! <laughs> Look at that. We could have a little clothes hamper. Whoop. Toss the stuff in. And then it goes into the pit of and then it goes, despair. Yeah. This is a really big space. It is. Now I'm going to go in the front, in the living room, get this carpet up.
have my handy dandy multi-tool and I am going to get started on sanding little odds and end places, holes, uh, where screws used to be. Like right there. Half a million. There's a ton of them. I'm going to fill all the holes that we are not going to be using uh, with this wood filler. And it's supposed to uh, dry and harden to where if we were to put more screws back in, you could, you could use it, you could, you know, screw back into it. Um, but it hardens, it dries, and then you can sand it and paint it, all that. So that's what we're going to use. And these holes here. Now it's time to tape up plastic everywhere so we can start painting. Like how am I going to... It's going to be hard then. Sorry. Are you crying a river? Oh, Don't I'm cry a river. You wanted to do this. I do. You this wanted... Is, there's, this is the hard part. This whole camper's like... doesn't even look like a camper anymore. Looks like a bunch of plywood. Mm -hmm. You want to do this. I'm supposed to be getting back to work, but uh, Lindsay needs help in here, so I'm going to help her. dried so I'm going to go ahead and sand it because um, it needs to be completely flat and smooth uh, for painting. Oh well, we survived the rain and that was exciting. Thunder in December. Fantastic. Anyway we are um, we're almost all taped up. I think Lindsay's got one maybe two more windows to go but we got everything taped up today was rip out the carpet so that was the last part of the demo but it was also get ready to paint day and so there's one more step that we're going to try to get done today before we call it a day and that is to use liquid primer um, yeah whatever Lindsay knows what she's talking about that's to use liquid sandpaper and uh, basically we're gonna wash the walls with this and it will get it set up to be able to put the primer on hopefully tomorrow where we'll paint on the primer using our spray gun and using brushes and then we'll let that sit for a day and then we'll come back with the actual paint and put it on the walls while Lindsay's also working on the cabinets. Um, so we're looking at about maybe three days of painting. So for this job, we just need the liquid sandpaper, a uh, cup to put the fluid in and a rag. It's going to be pretty simple and probably don't need the container. I probably could just use the bottle and pour it onto the cloth and then keep moving, but I'm going to give the container a shot so that way I can just keep moving not have to carry the bottle around with me. So here we go. I'm more exhausted today than I was yesterday. Uh, today was, it was still a long day. Mm. We, we started earlier today than we did yesterday. Mm -hmm. We are prepped for painting. I think that was the goal. We got the carpet out to the trash. That was my goal. It's all ripped yep. up. And the trash picked it up, right? We, yep. It's all gone. We got the walls all cleaned, all 
what's it called? Liquid sanded? Yeah, liquid sandpaper. We filled in all the holes, sanded mm -hmm. all that stuff down. Um, every cabinet, mm -hmm. well, the drawers are still in. We'll pull those out when we're ready to start painting. Mm -hmm. But everything's, I mean, it's empty. It is bare empty and it's taped up and it's got plastic. Sorry, I'm looking around. There's a lot to see. I know, I'm looking around too, but it's all, it's almost there. Now, today was a long day for oh. day number two. We probably could have done all of day one and day two together if we really, really wanted. Yeah, if we had but started earlier yesterday. We didn't, we didn't start till the afternoon. Mm -hmm. So so we could have combined it in one day. But I feel accomplished in the two days that we've done so far. And I feel ready to sleep in tomorrow and not work mm. on this thing. No. It's your project tomorrow. What? I got work to do. You're going to help me paint. I got work to do. We'll see about that. Anyway, mm -hmm. thanks for watching this exciting video on what's going on in our life as we are making over this 1999 Cheyenne Shasta, Shasta Cheyenne. Shasta Cheyenne. I say it both ways, I get it right at least once. <laughs> so thanks for watching, thanks for being a part of our journey, this crazy journey of ours as we are updating, remodeling this beautiful class CRV. It's gonna be fantastic and you're gonna be excited that you're going following along. Amazing. We'll yep. be posting videos of the special projects as we go. So be sure to check those out as well. Like this video, like our other videos, subscribe to our channel if you haven't already done so, and please send us a positive comment or question, something we can do to help connect with you. We love connecting with you. We love that you're a part of our journey. Thanks so much, and we will see you when we see you. If we see you, you'll see us when you see us when you see us. Bye.